So I'm out dashing. It's a beautiful sunny day. The temperature's nice. I'm listening to my music. Everything is going well. There's a lot of orders. I'm making good money that day, right? So you would think that I would be very happy that day. And I am, except for when one thing happens. And that's when I get on the road with the other drivers. I'm from New York City. And in New York, there's so much traffic that you have to be very aggressive when you're driving around because otherwise you won't get anywhere, right? So now I live in Oklahoma where we have the slowest, laziest, worst drivers I've ever seen in any state that I've ever lived in. So let's say I get an order and then I go to the restaurant to pick up that order. Everything's good, the order's on time, and then comes the road rage. I have to get on the road with these fucking drivers, right? So here's my list of 12 things that drive me fucking bonkers when I'm on the road with the other drivers. Number one, drivers that are driving 10 miles an hour slower than the fucking speed limit. So you get on these roads and there's one lane going in each direction. And the other lane on the left side is crowded so you can't pass. And this guy is in a 40 mile an hour lane going 30. Why? Because he has no fucking life and he has nowhere to go, right? So I'm stuck behind this guy. I can't get around him. And he's going to go for four miles in the direction that I'm going, 10 miles an hour slower than the speed limit. I can't fucking take it. Step on the gas, grandpa. Number two, drivers that love red lights. They can't wait to stop at red lights. How many times have you driven behind somebody and you see that the light is still green, right? You know that if you're going the speed limit, you're gonna make that light, even if it turns yellow, right? You've seen it ahead, you know it's been green for a while, you're getting ready for it to turn yellow. What do I do? I step on the gas, I go faster, right? In New York, that's the adage. It's green light go, yellow light go faster, right? But then you get that car in front of you and they're already driving a little bit slower than the speed limit and they start to slow down at the green light, right? It's green, go, right? But they're not gonna do that. They're gonna slow down expecting the light to turn red. And guess what? Yellow light comes on, bam, they're hitting the brakes, right? They can't wait to stop at red lights. They love red lights. They have nothing else to do. They just want a red light. They're saying, please turn red so I can stop, right? and these fucking idiots are in front of me, and now that light cycle is gonna take two minutes, and I've just lost two minutes off of my drive time. Number three, drivers that have no idea what a blinking left arrow means. So I don't know if it's like this where you live, right? So let's say you have the intersection, and you have the left turn lane, and first the, the, the left turn lane will have a green arrow, but then eventually that will turn into a blinking red arrow, right? What that means is, that you could make the left turn as soon as the oncoming traffic has passed, right? So I'll be up behind this one person and he's sitting there, he's waiting at the blinking red. Now there's cars coming by and then there's no cars coming by and the street is completely empty and they are just sitting there staring at the blinking red light. They have no idea what it means. They just got their license. They don't know what anything means, right? So I get stuck behind these idiots. Guess what? Light turns red. Now I have to wait behind this fucking asshole. Number four, drivers that wait till there's no cars for a half a mile in either direction before making a turn out of the parking lot. So let's say you go to a restaurant, it's in a parking lot, and you go to leave the parking lot, right? And let's say you have to make a left turn. You have one guy in front of you, and he's waiting, and he's waiting, and he's waiting. And you're looking left, you're looking right, you're like, okay, there's a little bit of traffic, and then the traffic's gone. And then he can make the left turn. Doesn't wanna, wants to sit there in the driveway all day. He's gonna have a party in his car. And you're like giving them a little honk, honk, go, honk, go, honk. They are waiting till there is no cars on the planet. Like they want to look left and right and see nothing for miles before they make the turn. It drives me fucking bonkers. Get the hell out of my way. I am trying to make a delivery. Number five, drivers that block your exit from or entrance to a parking lot. So... How many times have you, let's say, you're leaving the parking lot and you're going out of the driveway, and let's say to the right, there's a red light there, and when that happens, the cars that are coming 
you know, this way, they kind of slow down, they know the red light's coming, until there's enough cars to where they're stacked up to the driveway. And then you go, okay, here's my turn. I'm gonna jump out of here. The people to the left are gonna let me go. I'm gonna make my left turn out of the parking lot. And there's that one asshole that has to slowly drift and block the driveway. What I do is I pull out until my bumper is one inch from their car and I start honking at them like fucking mad. They have nowhere to go. They can't go forward, they've already stopped, right? But I'm gonna let them know, don't fucking do that again. Don't block driveways. Stay on the other side of the driveway and let me out. Number six, drivers that take 30 seconds to start moving once the light turns green. Okay, so you're at a red light, you're, everything's fine, there's a car in front of you, you're looking, you look, you see the light is about to turn red on the other side in the other direction, and you know your light's gonna turn green. And then it does, and then it turns green. And the guy's sitting there. He's on his phone, he's petting his dog, he's masturbating, who the fuck knows what he's doing. He's sitting there at the green light. He doesn't know that he's in a car, he doesn't know that he's waiting for the green light, he just thinks that he's parked and having a good time for himself. Get out of my way. Number seven, drivers that take a half mile to get up to the speed limit. So let's say where I live, there's the roads and they're 50 mile an hour roads, right? So they go one mile increments. So you go a mile, you know, for 50 miles, then you get a stop sign, another mile, 50 miles an hour. You're at a red light, light turns green. The guy starts going. He's going five miles an hour, six miles an hour, seven miles an hour, eight miles an hour, nine. Before you know it, you're a half a mile down the road and this fucking knucklehead is still going 30 miles an hour because he hasn't caught up to the speed limit yet. He's just going to take his time. He's afraid he's going to break his car if it goes too fast, right? Hit the gas, get up to the speed limit, or pull over and get out of the way. Number eight, drivers that sit behind the crosswalk line while waiting to turn left. Okay, everywhere in the country, this is the, the rule of the road. If you are in the intersection waiting to make a left turn and the light turns red, you have the right of way to complete the left turn before the oncoming traffic, right? It's the same way everywhere in the country. So when you're trying to make a left and there's oncoming traffic, go into the intersection and wait. The guy in front of me is always gonna wait behind the crosswalk. And he's going to wait, he's going to wait, and guess what? The light's going to turn red. Now he can't go anywhere because he's already behind the crosswalk. And now I have to wait an entire light cycle. There was enough room in that intersection for like three of us to get out there so when it turned red, all three of us can go. But no, he's got to sit by the crosswalk. He's got to wait. Because why? He's also one of those drivers that love red lights. He just wants to see the red light. Can't wait. He's like, I'm going to sit here until it turns red. I want to take a picture of it. Number nine. Drivers that speed up when you try to pass them. So I'm on a two lane road and I'm in the left lane, right? And I just came out of a parking lot and I have to make a right turn and the right turn's coming up and there's a guy in the right lane. So what I'm gonna do, he's already going pretty slow. So I'm gonna nail my gas and I'm gonna get in front of him and get into the right lane in front of him. So as I go faster, he goes faster. Let's say it's a 40 mile an hour road. I'm already up to 45. This guy was driving 25 a minute ago and now he's going 45, and I go 50, and I go 60. I find myself going 70 miles an hour down this road if, at, on a 40 mile an hour road, and this fucking asshole is right next to me going 70. He was happy going 25 a little while ago, and all of a sudden he sees me, and he goes, oh, high school challenge. Like, this is like a, like a competition. Like, I wanna see if I can step on my gas faster than you. Just let me get in front of you. You were just driving really slow. Why can't I just get in front of you? Let me go. It's not gonna affect you. I'm, I need to make the right turn coming up. I don't need to go 70 miles an hour. Number 10, drivers that are being courteous and letting everybody cut in front of them when you're stuck behind them. You're at a red light. There's a couple of cars in front of you and there's a driveway, you know, a parking lot driveway, whether it's you know from a store or from a restaurant. And the guy in front of you is gonna let everybody go. 25 cars, go, go. Puts his car in park, just starts directing traffic from his windshield. Go, you go, everybody go. I can't get by him, he won't let me out. I'm stuck behind this guy. He's gonna let every driver in the mall get out before he goes forward. Stop doing that. Just let them wait. They were there 
They're waiting. They don't need you to go. They just want you to go so they can find their little spot to get in. Stop letting the entire parking lot out in front of you when you're in front of me. Number 11. Drivers that pull out of a parking lot in front of you and then drive so slow you have to nail the brakes. So how many times has this happened? So you're like on a one mile stretch of road, there's a Walmart over here, and there's no cars behind you, and there's no cars in front of you. And you're traveling at 50 miles an hour down this road, there's nobody in either direction, and this fucking guy, he's waiting to get out of the parking lot, and he goes, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out right in front of you. He's not gonna let me pass first, and you say, hey, this guy's going 50 miles an hour, let me let him pass. No, he's gonna pull out in front of me and then go 10 miles an hour. So I have to nail my brakes and almost hit him, right? They couldn't wait two more seconds to let me pass them. These fucking inconsiderate assholes. And finally, number 12, drivers that refuse to make a right on red. Now, in almost every state, there's a handful of states where uh, there's either a, a red arrow that, that prohibits you from making a right on red, and let's say New York City, where I'm from, where you can't make a right on red anywhere, in almost every state, you can make a right on red, right? How many times have you gotten into the right lane, there's one car in front of you, the, the light's red, but you look in the left direction, no cars, there's nowhere, there's a half a mile down the road, there's no cars, and you're like, go, go. Right on red, go. Would you go? Would you go? And you're sitting there. They are going to wait for the green light. They're going to waste a minute of your time. I can't get around them. I don't know what to do. I just want to slam my fucking car into the back of their car. But I can't. So I sit there like a fucking idiot waiting for them to go when the light turns green. All right, listen. I don't know about you, but when I'm delivering, I get road rage all day long. This state is filled with the worst drivers I've ever seen. I've lived in a bunch of different states. I have never seen anything like Tulsa, Oklahoma. The worst drivers that have nowhere to go and it just drives me nuts. So they're, they ruin my day. I don't know if you go through any of this stuff. If you do, put a comment down below. Let me know if I didn't cover anything that you know I should have, but I'm sure you guys experience everything that I'm talking about. Listen, in this business, the adage, time is money, is completely true. Every minute that you waste behind some knucklehead that's in front of you, if you're making $21 an hour, that's 35 cents a minute. Every minute that somebody causes you to be late, let's say they cause you to miss the light, so now you gotta wait for the light, and it's a two minute cycle, you just lost 70 cents. That fucking asshole just took money out of your pocket, right? Let me know if you go through any of these things. Let me know if you get road rage like I do. Let me know if there's anything that I haven't covered uh, down in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for listening. I'm sorry to be such a, uh, a hothead today, but every time I get on the road with these fucking assholes, I want to kill myself.